Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Insidious. Insidious is directed by James Wan and it stars Rose Byrne and Patrick Wilson. So this film is about when Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne's kid, has a mysterious accident in this attic. He falls into a coma and he has spirits living inside of him. For a while, they're thinking it may have something to do with the house, but no, it's been the sun the whole time, and his body is trapped into something called the Further. So it's up to the help of a couple of paranormal investigators and a woman that Patrick Wilson has known about in the past to help out with the kid being in the further and try to release him. So before I review Insidious, my guest stars Ryan's Cinemad and Mustache Man from their channel Cinemust TV are going to review this movie. So you two awesome dudes, take it away. What is up guys? This is your man Ryan Cinemad here with Mustache Man guys and today we're doing the collab with 22 Dagger Dudes. Yeah guys, we're doing this little Halloween marathon. And we are reviewing the movie Insidious. Considered one of the scariest movies of all time. Is it? Uh, it's pretty scary. It is, it is a pretty scary movie, in my opinion. Believe it or not, I think the second one is actually just this much, much scarier than this. But as a movie, I think this one is better. Um, Insidious is such a suspenseful movie, in my opinion. And it um, really, really... It's a really good movie to watch on Halloween, and also a really good movie to attract your viewers, and a really good movie to watch with your friends. Well, also with Insidious, the ending, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's really confusing, and it kind of makes uh, no sense whatsoever. It's just, the ending just kind of confuses you, you know what I mean? Yeah, if I had to give it a rating, I'd probably have to give it a three and a half to five. Um, so yeah, guys, we are talking about Insidious, and it's a pretty suspenseful movie. So, thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for this collab review for... Insidious! <laughs> Alright, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, guys, leave comments, and I'll see you guys on my next episode. You stay classy, YouTube. Yeah. Thank you so much to Riot Anks, Cinemad, and Mustache Man from their Cinemas TV channel for reviewing Insidious. So, Insidious is directed by James Wan, and... Of course, if you guys have seen my review for the sequel, I've actually seen the sequel before I actually watched the original. I enjoyed Insidious Chapter 2. I know there's people that really hate it, and that's cool. I respect your opinion for those that didn't quite dig Insidious Chapter 2. I personally enjoyed it. So after seeing Insidious Chapter 2, I wanted to check out the original film. And I gotta say, the original is just as enjoyable. It was a very fun horror film, definitely. I would say it's a creepy movie. I I don't think it's like one of the scariest movies, but it is a creepy film. With James Wan's very wonderful direction, you have these beautiful camera angles, you have the wonderful sound effects. All of the events that go on during this film is very interesting and it is quite frightening. And the imagery that James Wan shows is pretty fucking haunting. The performances from everyone are all very good. Patrick Wilson does a really great job. Rose Byrne, beautiful actress. Really love Rose Byrne. She does a really great job here. And everyone else does a very nice job. And the two paranormal investigators were very funny. They were funnier in the sequel. That's because they had a little more screen time in the sequel, but they were funny here in the original as well. They were definitely the show stealers in terms of like comic relief. And the actor who plays the little boy as well, he does a really great job. The cinematography of course looks very beautiful. I really enjoy the storyline. Now the movie isn't perfect. 
It does take a while for the characters to figure out that the house isn't actually haunted. It's actually the sun that's up to this whole thing, you know. You you as the audience could predict easily before the characters themselves actually figure it out. There are a few predictable moments and there were a few cheesy moments. I know the sequel is like extremely cheesy, but the sequel to me embraced the cheesiness more and I enjoyed the cheesiness more there. And this one, however, the cheesiness a few times felt a little bit out of place to me. So overall, Insidious is a creepy movie. It's very interesting, beautiful cinematography, wonderful direction by James Wan. Performances were all really great. I enjoyed the original as much as I enjoyed the sequel. And it's funny because Insidious and Insidious Insidious Chapter 2, if you watch both of those movies back to back, they literally are like this one big movie. Since the sequel literally picks up where the first ended. Insidious gets 3 out of 4 stars. Same rating I gave the sequel. Thank you so much to Cinemas TV. The two dudes are very nice. Please check out their channels, you guys. I will leave a link to their channel in the description below.